If you want it's Emily Fox, today's video is going to be the continuation of this series where I test a bunch of best-selling foundations at Sephora and then I do a wear test and at the end I will be doing a wrap-up letting you know the best ones, the worst ones and everything but then you can go back and watch the wear test to see how much it oxidizes on my hand for example because I will be doing a swatch, how well it looks from up close in natural lighting and then how it wore throughout the day. For some of these wear tests it's a first impression so I will have more time to put them to the test before the wrap-up. Some of them are foundations that already have strong opinions, positive or negative, and then you still get to see what they wear, how they wear throughout the day. It is early in the morning. So uh, let me put this one on today. I'm so excited. This is the Dior uh, Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I have never worn any Dior foundation. So very excited. This one is super well known, super well loved. The reviews online are incredibly positive. Uh, this one is supposed to be medium coverage, has a matte finish, and it's supposed to be waterproof. I'm putting it to the test today because currently it is cold in the morning, it's September, and then later today, I'm sure it's gonna be very hot and sweaty. So full first impression, didn't even look what the color looks like. It looks a bit dark. Let's see. But I got 1.5N, which shouldn't be dark. So maybe it's gonna be okay. Maybe it's just the bottle. You know, sometimes these foundations, whoop, I shouldn't have freaked it. Okay, it's already ready. Let me do a little swatch so we're gonna be able to, ooh, it's very liquidy, okay. It is a very watery consistency. I don't think it's gonna be thick whatsoever on my face. Uh, like that little drop, I have like a bunch everywhere. So I might as well start the, the application because otherwise that swatch gonna be very thick. So uh, the color actually seems pretty good. I take it all back. Uh, I'm gonna do half my face. I'm gonna apply it with a sponge because it's what I usually do and if I don't feel like it works nicely, I will be again putting it to the test in the upcoming weeks uh, to see if I prefer it with my hands or a brush or something. But uh, I don't have too much going on right now. I do have some leftover redness from, uh, you know, acne and stuff. So let me zoom you in. <laughs> it's still trying to come out. Probably shouldn't have <laughs> shaked it that much. Uh, let's try it a little bit. Ooh. Oh, it has a very strong fragrance. So if you don't like floral scent, it might not be for you. It's not terrible. It kind of smells clean flagrance, flagrance, fragrance, uh, fragrance. But if you hate it or if your face is sensitive to it, definitely not going to be for you. Hopefully I don't smell it once, you know, it dries on my face. <laughs> First impression, obviously, but for the amount that I've applied, which is like very little, it's so thin, it covered the redness. <laughs> this is my I'm impressed face in the morning. <laughs> These videos are kind of weird because I film early in the morning and then late at night. And since the surgery, I get so tired at night and I've gotten comments, people being like, are you drunk? And I'm like, no, I'm just very, very tired at the end of the day. And then in the morning, I'm like weird because I just had coffee and I'm just still sleepy. <sighs> it's been an interesting uh, experience to do these videos this time. <laughs> Again, I've applied a very thin amount. Like literally, it looks like this is my skin. You have to be very, very close to me, which you will be in a minute, uh, to like see that I'm wearing foundation. I'm... I'm hoping it's gonna wear nicely because it looks really, really nice. Like whenever you wanna pretend like I'm not wearing makeup, my skin is just perfect. Wow, okay. I'm really hoping it's gonna wear nicely because obviously it's an expensive foundation, but it looks great at first. Oh, I didn't say it. I have combination skin, so uh, my T-zone gets oily, mostly my forehead, but I have a lot of dehydration. And I feel like, especially right now, in this time of the year, it's all over the place. Before it gets even really cold, my skin knows it and I get really bad uh, dehydration patch mostly on my nose, but some foundation will just make my whole face look like it. So we're gonna hope that's not gonna happen with this one because considering it's matte, it doesn't apply dryingly. <laughs> Basically some matte foundations kind of look dry, make your skin look dehydrated. So oiliness and then dehydration are kind of a hard combo, which I have. But it means that for a wear test, it's kind of useful if you have dry skin and then oily skin, you can kind of tell what it could look like on you. So my mirror is far, so let me, first impression. I'm 
liking this a lot. You can tell by my weird face. I don't know why I'm making that face, but this is me being excited. Full disclaimer, I almost did not film a wear test today because my skin is so... And I didn't want to blame the foundation for it, but I decided, you know what, let me just do it anyway. And if it doesn't perform well, I'll just test it again and, you know, redo the wear test whenever my skin is better. But, uh, wow. Wow. Dior. What is it? Dior J'adore? There you go. I'm almost an ad now. Uh, definitely not sponsored. <laughs> but, uh, it looks like my skin is amazing and even my nose does not look bad. There's a tiny bit of like dead skin, same thing on my chin, but my skin was so bad that I... I uh, if you have more pimples, like I have one here that's been there for like months at this point, um, I would probably just spot conceal, but the redness and unevenness is just gone. And I had some texture and it doesn't seem to be emphasized. And literally it looks like my skin is just looking great, which, wow. <laughs> I feel like it's been a long time since I've had such a positive first impression of a foundation. Cause I feel like at this point I've tested so many that like it takes a lot for it to impress me because an okay foundation will just be an okay foundation for me. It won't be like, oh my God, you know, it's just another foundation. But uh, I'm definitely getting the oh my god vibes with this. So I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup and then I'll show you if it did oxidize. It seems to take a little while to fully dry. Uh, but then yeah, we shall go in front of the window and I, I will wear this all day and like probably stare at myself in the mirror because... Oh, by the way, I feel like it kind of gives me almost a matte finish on its own. I don't feel like I need to set it with powder. I will just for the sake of consistency in these videos. I'll test it uh, without before the wrap up. But if you have dry skin right now, obviously first impression, I don't feel like this is a matte that you can't pull off if you have drier skin. It would probably just be a you can skip powder type of thing. So again, obviously it's a first impression, but clearly I'm in love. So I will see you in a bit. Okay, so I did the rest of my makeup except lipstick, which I will need to find something to wear. Uh, but I wanted to show you what uh, the foundation looks like once it dries, which I applied the rest of my makeup. Everything went really well on top of it. Uh, if anything, I think I committed a crime by applying a bit of powder because I feel like now the foundation looks a tiny bit dry. Uh, I do think it's going to help me long term though, because again, the oiliness. But uh, I think what I would do normally and will do next time I wear it tomorrow uh, is I'm going to skip the powder, but bring some to uh, add basically whenever I feel like I'm becoming oilier because I feel like it's looking a tiny bit drier than it did beforehand. Hence the whole like, it's a crime, sacrilege, you know? So first swatch, oh, shit, I need to, <laughs> I need to stop shaking it because it just spills out otherwise. So, uh, it definitely dries much darker, although the color is much better for me than uh, at first. It looks a bit yellower, right? And this is definitely more neutral, which is exactly what I need. Uh, to be honest, I'm not going to apply a thick amount like this on my face, so the match seems to be fairly good. It might be a tiny bit uh, dark for the winter, but I feel like this is going to be like a most of the year type of shade for me, which I did well. Ordering online is, you know, it can be a bit difficult, but yeah, I think this is a good match for me. You can see on my face, it definitely doesn't look this dark. Um, guys, <laughs> I'm trying to not rave about it too much because I'm afraid that uh, at the end of the day it's going to look horrible or something and then I'm going to be super disappointed. But, uh, first first impression is so positive. Let me bring you in front of the window so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so uh, we are now in front of the window so you can see what my skin looks like in natural lighting. It's actually a really nice sunny day so I feel like you can be able to tell really well. Uh, like I said, I did apply powder, shouldn't have done that, will not do that again. But my nose was literally horrible. And look at this, it's not bad. <gasps> like, this is like better than average, for me at least. So, considering that my nose was worse than average and it's looking better than average, it's like magic. Same thing for my chin, which, ooh, you can see I have quite a bit of texture. I had a few breakouts because I just survived my period and always, right? So you can see there's a tiny bit, there you go, there's a tiny bit here, but considering how dehydrated things were, it's looking amazing. And my cheeks are looking great. Again, there's a tiny bit of texture here, but that's definitely not the foundation. And if anything, it's making things look much better than they should. Like from this distance, it looks like I have perfect skin, which I don't at the moment. Uh, so I feel like the whole video is gonna be me trying to contain my excitement, but I'm excited, just saying it. I feel like I've tested so many products and not to be negative, I feel like at one point it kind of sounds a bit 
a bit much to be like, I've tested so many things and I feel like, it feels like you get to a certain point where you're like, okay, well I find anything else that's gonna be holy grail because, you know, I've tested so many things, so many are okay, you know, the average, you know, curve bell, you're gonna ha find more things that are good than like terrible or amazing. So it's very nice to actually try something for the first time that works the first time you use it and it's amazing right away. So yeah. Hence the overboard excitement at the moment. But yeah, uh, fingers crossed that it keeps wearing this way. I need to actually go and remove this before I put it everywhere. But the color, the texture, everything is just perfect at the moment. So if there's, if there weren't any perfume, this would be like a 10 out of 10 straight away. But I'm not feeling it slash smelling it, I mean, on my face. So... I don't think it really bothers me, but I also have a terrible sense of smell. So if you're very, very sensitive, once again, might not be for you. Otherwise, I can't smell it right now, so. Okay, so I just wanted to update you quickly on a foundation because I am going to the movie, so I'm going to be out for about three hours, probably. Uh, I've been wearing a foundation for about seven and a half, eight hours right now, so it's already on its way. It's starting to be a little shiny. I feel like at night it always looks so much more dramatic than it is. Uh, in person, it's like, oh, you know, slightly shiny, but no one's gonna call me out on it type of thing. Although, how often do people tell you, you look very oily right now? Um, so yeah, it's still looking great. Uh, it's still looking like skin, it hasn't separated. Uh, I don't feel gross. You know, sometimes some foundation, whenever they start getting oily, you're like, oh, I just need to do something. <laughs> Actually, some of these wear tests that you're gonna see, I felt that way. Um, but right now, I'm feeling good. Uh, I mean, fairly normal. I'm sure I will feel a bit more shiny after the movie, but uh, right now, so far so good. I am enjoying it still. I've been looking at my skin. I'm loving this so much and I'm very, very happy that I'm doing this video. Like this series, I would have not splurged on this foundation otherwise because I feel like at this point I'm like, oh, I have enough foundations. Like I just did this version of a uh, video with drugstore foundation, so really I don't need more foundations. But it was really requested that I do the high-end version, so I did, and very, very happy. So again, I'll update you in three hours. So it has been 10 and a half, almost 11 hours since I've applied the foundation, and wow, wow. Obviously I'm a little shiny on my forehead and stuff, but I feel like some of these foundations that you're gonna see this week looked way, way oilier. And we've already established the bright lights are not helping. But uh, overall, the foundation still looks really, really great. If I had more things to do, I could easily just blot and like go on my way, maybe apply a tiny bit of powder just to be sure. But I'm so impressed with this. I feel like the only places that it's starting to look a little uh, is wherever I am more dehydrated. So basically my brows, my nose, and my chin starting to look a little bit like the foundation is sitting on top of my skin. Uh, but I think that just blending it in two seconds would probably be okay normally. Obviously didn't do that today because of the wear test, but otherwise the foundation still looks so good. Like my cheeks and everything, it looks flawless. So hopefully it is in focus properly. At night it's always tricky, but you can possibly tell that my nose is starting to look a little, little something. I feel like this is a little gone, but I think I, and by I think, I mean, I've definitely touched my nose a ton during the day, so that could explain any disappearance on that side, but overall, it's not looking that bad. Same thing in between my brows. There's a bit more texture there. Again, I'm more dehydrated there. And my chin a little bit because this patch was super dry because I've applied, you know, acne products. That's why I had um, some dehydration because I had had acne and breakouts there. But overall, have you seen my cheeks? This is after 11 hours. It looks like fresh, Freshly applied, <laughs> cleaning my brain is not rested. Uh, but yeah, it looks so freaking good. So obviously this was my first time ever wearing the Dior Backstage Foundation, but I think it's very clear that I may have, unfortunately for me, fallen in love with an expensive foundation here. I feel like this could be a new everyday, like flawless skin because it is medium coverage, but it's such a thin amount on the skin and it looks so natural that I will want to wear this daily because my skin was not looking great this morning and it does now. I'm kind of afraid to wash this off because what will I find underneath? Maybe I will have to wear you every day forever now. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be it for this video. Obviously, I will be putting it to the test a lot more before the wrap up, but this may be the new love of my life. Maybe. 
we shall see. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because you definitely don't want to miss all of the other videos before the wrap up. Don't forget to also check the playlist down below. I will be actually putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.